moving on we got this pretty sad story um you know thoughts and feelings go out to this young lady really thoughts and feelings go out to this young lady this is a really 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 tragic story curse of the new york post right this is to me heartbreaking i honestly can't imagine how this young lady must feel so curse of the new york post nyc concert goer bird pishi partially paralyzed after trophy eye singer stage dives into crowd can you imagine how tragic that is so sad a punk rock loving concert goer is partially paralyzed and can only move her arms after a singer launched himself into the crowd and landed on her head during a show in new york last month i'm not going to play the video because it's fucking horrendous um let's just continue you can obviously imagine what that would look like um bird pishi or bird pesci i'm not sure how to pronounce her name bird pishi or pesci 24 suffered a catastrophic spinal cord injury at the trophy ice concert in mohawk place buffalo new york on april 30th according to wgrz Footage posted on the Australian post on the Australian post punk rock, rock, rock band Reddit page shows the moment frontman John Floriani jumps from the stage and is perched up in the air by the rowdy crowd. That's obviously the lady. Fuck, man. I can't imagine. I really can't imagine, man. Bless her. Pichu's pink hair can be seen bobbing to the music near the front of the stage with others in the packed out 230 person venue. Filoni flies on the stage and in the blink of an eye, he lands directly on her head while others lift the lead singer, seemingly unaware she's seriously injured. The 24-year-old never reappears in the 13-second clip. The video is wild because unless you knew that someone was hurt in the video, you'd never expect that. Pichu's friend Leo Walter Chajeri told the outlet, like it's just an, uh, it's just an average stage dive. Walter Chajeri said Reddit users who claimed to be in a crowd thought Pichu fainted and went to get her a cold rag. However, the show was abruptly stopped when other concert girls saw her still on the ground. She wasn't getting up and John the singer was like there, right there with her. Filoni rode in the ambulance with a devoted fan to Erie County Medical Center where she was rushing to emergency trauma surgery. Pichu suffered injuries to her spinal cord and her stay in the hospital is indefinite according to the GoFundMe page set up to help her with medical expenses. As you can see from the picture alone, look at that. She's literally standing right behind him. If you can't see the picture, the lead singer is basically diving with his back to the to the to the crowd and he's basically his bum kind of landed directly on her head and he's from what i uh, led to believe this um front man for this band is like six plus maybe six one six two so it's a big dude landing on such a small girl like fucking hell man like that's a young 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 lady like jesus christ she will need extensive rehab immediately after she was cleared, says Walter, the friend. To my understanding and the conversation we've heard so far from doctors is, is with catastrophic spinal injuries. You just can't tell and they have to take a lot of time to patients to see what the outcome is really going to be. Trophy I said the incident was shaking us all to our core. The really sad thing what I've read online is that allegedly the venue has told them not to jump from the stage. You're not allowed to stage drive. I think mostly because the crowd, the stage is so far away from the audience. I think they don't like that gap, maybe. That's probably why. The gap in between. So they they encourage... But I'm sure they don't let anybody... I'm sure it's not encouraged that shows to stage drive. People do it anyway. But the way he did it was obviously super reckless and um, was just unnecessary. And it's just so unfortunate that somebody's life can change so quickly in the blink of an eye when they're going to enjoy themselves, watch their favorite band play somewhere. Especially nowadays where, you know, concerts in general and people going out to see shows has definitely kind of leveled out and plateaued a little bit. For the kids to make the effort to go see you means that you're obviously um, doing good things and you're meaningful and you obviously make music that's impacted them and moved them to some way to kind of make the effort to leave their house to go and see you. And then for them to kind of come back in a wheelchair is absolutely tragic um, for both parties, for the guy himself, even though he was very reckless and he didn't take care. And obviously, you know, you're going to feel all sorts of anger to him. You can imagine he's feeling obviously horrible about it. You'd hope so anyway. Hopefully he's not doing a Travis Scott and pretending to be sad about it. But for the lady herself, I can't imagine, bro. I can't imagine how she's feeling. For that young lady herself, I can't imagine how she's feeling right now. Being a 24-year-old girl with your whole life ahead of you, and now you have to change everything about your life now that you've got this fucking disability you have to deal with. Maybe she gets better. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, she makes a full recovery because you never know. It could turn it around and stuff and she could get the feeling back in her legs and shit. But it's so fucking tragic. It really fucking is. 
Our respect for the family, we have refrained from speaking about this publicly so far, but with the blessing of the family, we are now able to say how truly heartbroken we are to be here. Our friend Bird is now in recovery, but still has a long road ahead of them. The situation has shaken us all to our core, and we ask for patience, and while we take a look to help help Bird navigate this time. And the really sad thing about it is that this is a band that's still trying to make it. They're not probably that well known. They're probably not even making that much money. So it's not as if they can even go inside their pockets and pay for all her expenses. They kind of had to contribute, which they did, $5,000, but they can't really do that much anyway because, you know, they're a... I guess I would say indie band, but they're an up and coming band. Um, I think they are anyway. So yeah, it's just tragic all all over the place. Um, and this is like a proper like you know uh, local place as well. Look, Mohawk Place looks pretty cool. Um, the bartender at Mohawk Place says the venue has not has had a strict no crowd surfing policy since 2011. There are signs posted everywhere in the venue, and notice was included in the emails for the show and the show's promoter and the band themselves. So the the, the the venue is basically blaming the band. You were told at, under no circumstances to stage drive and you still did it. Um, Mohawk's Place General Manager Mike Four wrote in a statement to the outlet, Walter Tergeri, a musician, expressed the dangers of fans face um, to attract a high level of physical energy. The thing about mosh pits is that there needs to be a consent. The number one rule is a pit is if someone falls, you pick them up and that you don't pull anyone into the pit that didn't want to be there. The problem with what happened the most was there's no implied consent. The body was just falling down from the sky onto a person. Exactly. The mosh pit is one thing. If she would have injured herself in a mosh pit, that's obviously tragic, but also, you know, you kind of put yourself there kind of thing. But in this situation, from what it looks like in the picture, she's just standing in a crowd watching her favorite band like everyone else is doing. And then the guy just randomly decides to, with his back face to the audience, jump into the crowd and landed on her fucking head. Like, fucking awful. Do you know what I mean? So irresponsible. So tragically irresponsible. But it also kind of reminds me of this really sad story. I think it was during the pandemic. During the pandemic at this um, shopping mall we have here in London called Westfield, a young lady also got paralyzed and in tragic circumstances. I think if I'm correctly, if I remember it correctly, a shoplifter was running away from a store somewhere in Westfield, running away from security, and a shoplifter tried to jump from floor one to like, I don't know, floor two to floor one by jumping, you know, in the middle of a shopping mall, like over the barriers. But they jumped and then they slipped, their hands slipped and they landed on the ground floor on top of some girl that was just walking by. Like fucking awful, awful, awful. Can you imagine you're minding your own business with your friend doing your fucking weekly shop or just walking around the shopping mall and some fucking shoplifter lands on you from the second floor. I remember that story and, you know, she ended up um, becoming basically paralyzed. Um, but for whatever reason she's had a very good attitude about it she turned it into a whole thing talking about you know advocating for for uh, disabled people's rights i think she had a blog and radio show she became like a bit of a a bit of a thing during the pandemic but i remember reading it thinking wow man how fucking tragic all of our lives have come to a screeching halt and now this girl's had being paralyzed because of this fucking tragic once you know in a blue kind of event that was kind of out of the blue but um in general with this kind of story i blame mostly the band the band guy the lead singer what a piece of shit personally for me i'd be really furious if i was a bird pishy's family and friends i'd be so fucking angry um especially considering you know he should have known better warnings were placed and again if you want to stage dive like you want to be a rock star you want to be like whatever at least go to an area where there's mostly dudes or something or guys that can catch you i don't know you know if you want to do that sort of stuff you're six foot something like you're not some scrawny little twink of a fucking lead singer you're a substantial big dude he might actually be the guy on the left here it might actually be, I don't know which one it is, but it might actually be this guy here who even sitting down in a chair, he looks tall. This looks like a six foot tall guy, right? Long legs, long body and shit. Even his face is fucking long. So for that guy to like, you know, go out of his way to kind of stage dive was a bit too much. And all these guys, they're all too grown to be doing that sort of shit. So if you're going to do it, at least try and do it in the direction of people who look like they can catch you or who look like they can kind of absorb your fall. Doing it in the direction of this kind of, you know, um, young lady is really fucking unfortunate and something that shouldn't have happened and was easily avoidable if that guy would have taken some care and, you know, attention into the people that are coming out to see you and shit. Um, really tragic. Again, wishing her a speedy recovery and hopefully everything goes well. Um, really, really do wish that Beard Pishi makes a speedy recovery. Really, really, really do.